Um, so I was the one. I was just, I just yeah, I was the one organizing the yep. the kind of backlog for the week. Selected the tickets. I'm very happy with the with the progress. You can see it on my screen. Basically, what was everything we worked on? Some are done. Some are almost done, and so on. And my role was, you know, if I can work on my own tickets, and uh, I did, I did some. I can show it to you. But most importantly, to to help new developers to help others uh, move forward and block, um, you know, explain them how things work so that uh, I can scale, uh, yeah. you know, in the future. And that was um, very, uh, very satisfying to see uh, people with no knowledge uh, or almost no knowledge beforehand being able to go end to end, close one ticket um, and, uh, and kind of see the result of their work within, uh, you know, one or two days. Yeah, very satisfying. Yeah. So let me show you actually quickly the documentation we were just talking about. Yep. Um, you know, beforehand, of course, there's a lot of user documentation that you can find some tutorials on the web made by, um, you know, power users more or less. Um, and we also had this, uh, this wiki on GitHub. Um, most pages have, uh, have not been updated in a long time. And actually the, this mixes the developer and the user documentation so for example here you have instructions how to how to build a code base how to set it up and as part of our id to make it easier for for developers to to work with gephi uh, we need to write documentation and this needs to be you know accessible and so on and so forth so Mathieu Tote for the most part worked on this and i can show it to you um, we used uh, we were inspired by a open refine uh, solution and we said okay can we can we have the same thing and uh, we now have a, a new portal. It's obviously still work in progress, um, docs.gephi.org. And here we will be able to have um, a kind of an easier to read documentation. There's also a way for, for us to search and there is a dark mode. Hey. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, so much fancier framework. Uh, and I thought the, the main benefit uh, for me is that I can also have this documentation um, portal build locally so I can edit it uh, locally, see, you know, kind of have a preview yep. much, much easier than to edit the GitHub wiki. Um, it's much, um, you know, kind of you can kind of do a better job at figuring out if, uh, if what you wrote makes sense. And uh, this will automatically be rebuilt um you know there's automation behind it so at the yep. moment somebody uh, adds something it will be um put it uh, online so that's that's a really uh a big step of course the, the work is not finished we want to clean it up so right now yep. it's a kind of copy of what we have and we think that um this could also host a kind of a big suite of user documentation that's currently scattered all around the web also including videos and and stuff like this 